I am in the truck. It is 8, 10, 10 30. It's 10 30 in the morning. So my mom and I had errands to run today, which was dollar store and Walmart. And then she got called from the guy that she shops for tugboats for. So she had to go do that at 10 30. And because there's construction everywhere, we didn't get downtown until like 20 after 10. So in normal circumstances, that'd probably be enough time to go to the dollar store and to get the things, but I don't know if they have a line outside or whatnot. So I'm just gonna sit in the truck for like half an hour while they do the shop because I don't want to go inside if I can avoid it and why have extra people if you can avoid it so I'm just hanging out outside I did my makeup from here up <laughs> because I'm gonna be wearing this <laughs> when we go into stores so that's where we're at so I'm just gonna sit here I've got my earbuds so I'm gonna listen to some audiobooks I started listening to the first Harry Potter again yesterday because like it's so good and I was watching the movies and the movies are so bad now <sighs> I think the problem was is in the past I never watched the movies immediately after reading the books and wow anyways I'm gonna go I'm gonna do that I'm texting with my boss from the theater just sending gifts and emojis because that's how that's how we do it we are so professional he's the worst for it he is the worst for it but um I forgot to print my timesheet so he's gonna do that for me second weekend or second time period in a row that I forgot to but it's fine anyways I'm gonna go I just want to start the vlog because like why not <laughs> alrighty so I'm home I wore jeans today when I went out I'm shimmying them off right now, and I can say that I did not really like it. Anyways, it is currently quarter to one. Things took longer than anticipated. Uh, we got into Walmart right away, but there was a fair number of people there, and then we had to wait in line forever. And then I think the biggest problem is just the... Use your brain, use your brain, use your brain, the construction. Oh my goodness, we were... We got McDonald's on the way home because... We know if we're waiting. And um, we both finished our entire meals while we were waiting. So that's insane. But I did get some things. So give me a second and I will show you the things that I managed to find. It wasn't a, it wasn't great, <laughs> but we found some things. Alrighty, this is where we are. This is like the new hall spot. <laughs> Not that I really, anyways, I got myself a little tabletop ironing board because I want to do a lot more sewing. And currently I've just been using a towel that's the word a towel on my desk so I'll do my ironing first thing and then I just put it over here to cool down the iron but then if I want to iron in between it's a pain because then I, I have to get it and I don't like it <laughs> so I got a little tabletop one that I can just put on the floor over here and then I can always have an ironing station out which is good because like I said I want to start making more things and I will need to iron more of the masks I can fake it <laughs> if I need to if I'm too lazy to iron so that'll be nice I picked up a birthday card because I have a friend whose birthday is coming up shortly I think it, honestly I think it's still like four weeks away but who knows when I'll go back to Walmart I know I said that like last week and I've been there twice but I don't intend to go back to Walmart anytime soon for real this time I managed to find some ribbon so I managed to get two of the quarter inch which is what I prefer and then I got some three eighths inch um, it's just a little bit thicker, but it still is gonna work. So white, gray, pink, and then blue and green. I also got some black thread because I think I could probably use some black thread. If I can't use black thread, well, doesn't hurt to have. And then lastly, from the dollar store, I got this Delicates wash bag because I'm going to send some masks with one of my girls up to Blind Channel. And so she should wash them in these and not like just willy nilly. I feel like this will make sure they last longer. So I figured I would pick one up for her and she should be able to get all the masks she needs to wash in there. So that's good. Anyways, I'm gonna take some chill time now and my mom wants me to bake bagels today. So I'm gonna have to get started on that soonish. Uh, but I think it's mostly gonna be a chill day today. I think, I don't know, it's hard because now that I have the ribbon, I can sew more masks and I'm really enjoying it. I don't know. I think I'm just really enjoying sewing. And I think I have, I have a bunch of flannelette, I think. So I might see if I can make something that's not a mask out of that, but we'll see. We'll see how the day goes. Alrighty, it is bagel time. I've got my recipe. I've got a measuring cup. Let's do this. Thank you. 
super exhausted all of a sudden. It is four o'clock. The bagels have just gone into the oven. They'll be done in like 20 minutes, but my package came. What does it say? Sleep, nap, repeat. And it says, get ready to get comfortable. So you'll see what this is. But there's this girl that I follow on YouTube. She's an actress on the West End. Her name is Carrie Hope Fletcher. And her and her boyfriend, she's a YouTuber as well, obviously. Her and her boyfriend have been doing daily videos. So I think she does the one in the evening and he does the one in the morning or something. I can't remember. But she ordered both of them an Udi or an Udi. I don't know how you pronounce it, but it's just like a giant hoodie and it just looked so comfortable on them that I just needed to have it in my time of oh look at it in my time of um staying at home <laughs> so it's from what I understand it's basically like a blanket I should cut that shouldn't I it's like a blanket you can wear but not like a thuggy oh my goodness oh my goodness and it's got the nice, like, I don't know, like, fleece. That's the word on the outside and the Sherpa on the inside. I'm going to put it on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I already feel like I won't be able to do anything in this. <laughs> I feel like a marshmallow. <laughs> hey, look at that. Woo. <laughs> I'm probably gonna melt if I stay in this for too long at the moment, but let's see. Where can I put this? <laughs> it is so big. I don't know if you can hear me too because my mic's on the inside of it. So I'll just I'll just do this. <laughs> there we go. Mic's on the outside. I think this is great. This is so comfy. It is so warm though, and I, that was a little bit my concern because we are going into whatever season this is, spring slash summer, but <laughs> my, my fingers, my fingers. Um, <laughs> what was I going to say? But blind channel is always colder than up here. Last summer, especially like it just poured rain. Oh my goodness. Like I just, oh, it is like a blanket, a blanket with arms that works really well. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Anyways. I think it'll be good. I'm going to bring it up in the summer. I think I love this. I'm dying though. I need to take it off, but I love it. Alrighty. So I just spent some time cleaning up my room. I didn't get it before. It was trashed. It was so bad, but we're looking much better now. I think I need to find a better permanent place for the ironing board, but it's fine. It could probably sneak behind my fridge, to be honest. I also organized underneath the bathroom sink. Again, I didn't get it before of that. And it was just, it's so tight in there, like, to have the door open. It was just, it was a struggle. But I managed it. And we have a ton of shampoos and conditioners and body washes, which, if you remember my organization vlog from, like, forever ago, <laughs> probably close to a month ago, when I organized the cupboards and the pantry downstairs, that is where everything came from because it was in the pantry downstairs because I guess we were just too lazy to bring it upstairs when we moved. So it is now upstairs, but in the bathroom closet where I want to put it, there is there are Christmas decorations, like a bunch of Christmas balls. So uh, I need to figure out where those can go. Probably they'll go to storage eventually, but for now, if I move those, I will have tons of tons of room for everything that I want to put in there. So that's where we're at. It is about quarter after six and I am going to start cooking dinner here in about 15 minutes, but things are going well on my list. I just, the like main thing that I want to do today, I mean, besides writing because is I want to go through the freezers and I want to inventory what we have because there have been a couple times where my mom's like, oh, we definitely need this. And I'm like, no, we don't need that. And then we have too much of something or we, uh, there's just a random turkey in the freezer. So I think I'll do that after dinner. But for now, I'm just gonna chill for a couple minutes. I'm pretty tired today. I did not sleep well last night. I don't know if I mentioned it, but this is where we are. I'm off tomorrow, which is nice, but we have to get up kind of early to go do our shop. And my grandma has a pretty big list today or for tomorrow too. So 
it's fine, we'll survive. So my mom and I just went through the deep freeze downstairs because like I said, I want to inventory what we had in the deep freeze. And I am, I don't know if I'm happy to report, but I was right. There was not just one turkey in that deep freeze, there were two. <laughs> Who needs that many turkeys? It's ridiculous, it is stupid. <laughs> but I've got the list of everything that we have in the deep freeze. I'm just gonna inventory my freezer up here. There's not too much. And then we're gonna do the fridge freezer, which is a bit more of a mess just because like, it's kind of where everything gets crammed, like the half bags and everything. So anyways, at least we know what we have now, which is nice. I'm a logistics person. I'm sure I've mentioned this before. This is what I like to do. <laughs> it reminds me of, oh, it's probably like a year ago at work we had a staffing change and therefore somebody need to go through and do the inventory of everything in the concession and just kind of like you know set up a new system for tracking it <laughs> and they're like panicking and freaking out i'm like you do know my background is in logistics and inventory like i might not be doing that here but that's kind of my jam and they're like oh my god right so that's the kind of stuff I live for. I'm just saying. So this is the kind of stuff I live for. I'm probably going to make a spreadsheet afterwards because like, come on. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> Anyways, that's what I've been up to. I'm feeling pretty good about my list today. My mom moved the Christmas decorations that were in the closet in the bathroom. So I'm going to finish organizing that later, which is exciting. And then <sighs> the writing. We'll see. It's already 20 after 8, so we will see how we do. I did not sleep well last night, so I'm kind of feeling like maybe around 9 just stopping, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, I'm just taking a break now. I'm going to get that freezer, which like I said, I don't think there's too much in there. We're just going to keep pushing through downstairs and then like sleep. <laughs> I'm just going to live in this thing now. I did say it. Um, my only complaint is that because the sleeves like are way too big once I do that they get a little big if I'm trying to do anything like they feel very bulky but other than that this is so cozy I could fall asleep right now it might just be because I'm very tired though but also because I'm so cozy anyway it is 11 o'clock I am gassed I had a very productive day doing things that weren't writing and I feel like tomorrow is going to be about the same because I have um to do the grocery shopping thing like our list is kind of lengthy my grandma's is like crazy long so that should be fun but that is what we will do i'm gonna go sleep now so it's hard to get the mic to stay out apparently so with that i'm going to say thank you so much for coming along on today's adventure and i'll see you tomorrow probably maybe not who knows Good night.